Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about two weapons that I didn't actually use a whole lot of until quite late in the playtest. And I was fortunate enough to put a poll out there to see what you guys thought of both the spear, which I just showed you, and the halberd, which you're seeing now. So pole arms are pretty popular for full tank fighters, and obviously the longsword probably would be the top pick. But in this poll, 821 votes, 60% of you, or just over 60%, said that spear was your preferred um, between the two. So, we're going to talk about how much damage to do, which is what you're seeing here, and we'll also get into some gameplay using both weapons just to demonstrate some of their, you know, strengths and weaknesses. So as you'll see here, the halberd actually hits for a little more just because its weapon damage is a little bit higher than the spear, and uh, you can really destroy a guy with one hit with this weapon. As you're about to witness, this is totally worth it, absolutely destroying that music playing guard, and uh, basically suicide. However, I really wanted to see if I could one-shot you know, maybe turn that fight and mess up that team. I think they're being chased by another team at the same time, so it was worth it, definitely. With the Halberd, that's a little bit more likely because the spear's damage just isn't quite as high. And you'll kind of see an example of a blue spear here. I mean, first hit 75, that's not killing anybody, so you're going to need to basically do a follow-up swing and uh, maybe even the third swing to get that final kill. The spear's tip is like a super small hitbox, and as you'll see, I'm kind of using Adrenaline Rush, because I find Adrenaline Rush just a lot of fun. It makes every weapon just a little bit more exciting. Like I mentioned, the tip is very, very small, so when players get in close to you, uh, and even just killing spiders like you're seeing here, when players get in close to you, it's actually really hard to land hits sometimes. You have to be pretty well practiced to use the, the spear, I believe. Like, you see, I'm actually stabbing... Like, the hitbox on the spiders are kind of strange anyway, but it can be incredibly difficult to hit those pointed jabs in close with such a small hitbox against players. And I think that's where the spear struggles kind of the most, and you're going to see it here. This is perfect distance, and then the mace guy gets super close, and I smash it into the wall. And that smash into the wall kind of screwed me. I still almost won that fight, but that spear thrust through the player into the wall is uh, it's kind of unfortunate because it doesn't cleave quite as well, and if I could have maybe dragged it into the other player, I might have been better off. Now, switching back over to the Halberd, it's a kind of a different beast altogether, because you get really wide, high swings, like you're seeing there, that can clang off roofs or narrow pathways. And it's not also that easy to hit spiders with it, because your swing is such a strange swing. You do have an alternate swing, which you kind of just saw there, and truthfully, I never used it that much, but it did come in handy for cleaning up some spiders. But the swing pattern on it on this weapon is way better at cleaving through multiple things. And I feel like the thrust attack, just personally, when I've used it, lands way more consistently than a spear's thrust attack. So you can kind of dummy with the first swing, and they think they have an opening. And then you just follow up with a spear thrust kind of style right to the base. And this is kind of an example of me messing around. This cleric, this cleric's coming for blood. And uh, I kind of get caught reloading my crossbow here. Not having quite as much speed with the halberd out. He does judgment me. Judgment absolutely hurts, but this is kind of one of my first PvP battles using a halberd. Where I was testing it out in uh, Goblin Caves. And that reach right there is so nice. Just enough distance to reach them with that spear thrust when they're not really expecting it. And hit like, you know, 80-90 damage. Once again, the spear thrust works great. And we cleave them with the final headshot. Calling it a kind of spear thrust, but it's more just like a pointed stab, you know what I mean? One thing that's also great is it absolutely destroys mobs because you can distance yourself and uh, those swings aren't that difficult to land consistently on mobs. We're going to quickly jump into another example where I kind of get stuck in a 2v1 or actually I think it's a 3v1 and this is me just trying out weapons so I'm kind of being a little silly here. I shouldn't really be baiting these guys into a fight when I'm a solo player but my whole point is just trying to get into as many situations as possible where I could test these weapons out before the playtest ended. So I do what I can to bait these guys into a fight just to see what happens. Which is kind of a silly move as a solo, but I want to see how it worked. They land a couple good hits and then that final swing absolutely destroys this guy. And I truthfully believe if I had popped Adrenaline Rush and not missed that second swing on the Barbarian, I was a little better with the Halberd there. That could have been an easy victory of against two. That guy was like last hit. So the Halberd has some crazy potential just to swing fights your way. Uh, you know, 100 damage per swing, and it's not slow. Like, it's not super slow, 
and a lot of times you land really clean headshots. So the last thing I want to show you guys is just some extended uh, spear gameplay, where I think it does a really good job of showing off some of the best things about the spear and some of the things I don't really like so much about the spear. Like as you're seeing here, it's great for clearing mobs, that second swing is really nice to reach over a shield, which I actually have a perfect example of towards the end of this gameplay video. We kind of get in a strange spot with uh, a shield user. So to cut to the chase a little bit, I actually prefer the halberd over the spear. And the only reason why is because I feel like I have a way better chance of cleaving through multiple players when I'm using a uh, halberd. Just as we're trying to have a nice little rest here, we end up having a ranger ruin all that was nice and joyful about this game. Thankfully, I have the crossbow in this run, and crossbow's still amazing. I still love it. It just became extremely hard to find a crossbow on the market. I felt like they were super rare. I never found a single one looting anything, and very few players at all were carrying them, so... I just never had the opportunity to use crossbow nearly as much as I'd like. We're actually going to push this guy. Getting in close with the spear versus ranger shouldn't be a big problem for us. The problem is going to be keeping at a distance and letting him just kind of chip us down. We're going to push through this door and hopefully get a little bit closer to him. And uh, get a couple spear stabs in this guy's head. We dodge the first volley. He ends up taking the route, which is basically running through all these mobs. My crossbow end up bugging out there. But we actually make up for it with the next shot. So he's a really hurting ranger right now. Crossbow bolt getting chased by endless mobs. And, uh, yeah, maybe he'll come back around and we can just cut him off and tap him in the face. He doesn't really have anywhere else he can go, so he kind of has to go basically towards me. So I do find it kind of interesting that the poll results was saying 60%, because personally I actually prefer the halberd, but I do think most people using spear are using it in teams, and it does make a lot more sense because you're way less likely to cleave through your own players. I think I watched some Narcissus uh, videos with the Cinder, and uh, that thing's ability to just destroy your teammates is almost equal to how often you destroy actual enemy players. So this range is getting super annoying and spamming me through the crack in this doorway. So we answer back, and he's forced to come through here. And we make most of this opportunity from the Flying Skull, and just basically tap that guy in the face. Very nice. Uh, unfortunately, we won't be able to loot that, because we're seriously running out of time. And this is when we get into a little bit of a mess with some spiders and some crossbowmen. Skeletons absolutely chunk your health bar. And then it becomes kind of this really annoying game of trying to spear a whole bunch of spiders at your feet. Fortunately, we make it out kind of cleanly. Don't think there was much I could really do with that skeleton crossbowman. People say that you can dodge side to side or stay at mid-range, but you're not really expecting him to be there. You're losing half your HP bar, if not more, if he lands a headshot. So we actually spot a guy quite quickly after um, taking all that damage. And this is that spear versus shield fight that I'm very much looking forward to showing you guys. Because I think it's kind of silly in its own little way, but also shows how well a spear can get around a shield. It's a pretty good demonstration of adrenaline rush and how much pressure it can apply to a player. This guy's already really loving the whole blocking thing, which is honestly a thing I absolutely hate doing. Kind of sucks, we're not full HP, but uh, we kind of have to get this fight over with in case we run into more players. So we get in close, he hits it with an axe, and then we start using the spear to its best advantage we have. Trying to get that second hit over top the spear, and it does it so consistently well. Even if you miss the first one, it's almost better because you can land that second one so much easier. The third swing also hits over shield very, very well. And this guy just never stops blocking. I'm waiting for him to swing, and he finally does, and it's just, it's just too late. Like, the floor spikes killed him. I didn't even get credit for that kill. So it's a bit of an odd one. I'm pretty happy with it, because it perfectly shows how you basically can succeed with a spear versus shield. There's a whole bunch of uh, benefits to having a spear in that situation. Adrenaline Rush also made it very difficult for him to get any sort of opening at all. And now we're kind of in a tricky spot, very low HP. And we hear another player. So we're gonna try to heal up as quickly as possible. Uh, and we actually see that it's a cleric, which isn't a fun fight. Because Judgment will absolutely smash us. We see him going for the portal, so we try to put an end to that. Truthfully, I could've just let this guy go and then found my own portal. Kept all the loot I had. 
But at this point in the playtest, I literally just want to try to 1v1 people and see what worked and what didn't. Sounds like that bolt actually landed, so he could be quite hurt. And uh, a bunch of portals are stopping, so this is pretty much the last fight in this uh, lobby. He gets close and does the whole judgment thing, which annoys the crap out of me. And then we screw up our spacing really badly. I kind of got caught in two minds where I saw him judgmenting, so I, I kind of lunged at him. And then as soon as I did, he lunged back and was right where he wanted to be with that mace. If I had just kept my distance and basically backed up while using my spear, I should have won that fight, truthfully. So, that's my advice for you guys. I know there's a lot of failures in this video as well as there are successes. If you haven't used either of these weapons that often, it can be kind of hard getting used to the balance of distancing and proper timing of your swings. I'm so used to being up front and close with people uh, using dual sword that it was quite a change and I'm kind of surprised at how much I enjoyed using the halberd. And truthfully, the spear was very good as well. As a solo player, I just found the halberd had so much potential to just destroy teams. And I think it's actually what Orlanthe uses quite often. Maybe because he's always rocking the cinder uh, halberd or whatnot. But look guys, that's uh, that's it for me. Let me know your thoughts. I want to hear what you have to think. I already seen the poll results. And I am still kind of surprised how popular Spear is. Uh, considering I find it really difficult sometimes in close. I'm definitely going to be using Halberd a little more. And I have some really cool build ideas going forward. So thank you all once again. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.